Okay, good morning. And it's still morning. I think we're, uh, we're going to get everybody out of here by noon. Um, but I just wanted to start out by um, uh, telling you how heartened I am to see such a, a great gathering of, uh, of business folks um, who are uh, just such a tremendous key to our success and a critical part of, of uh, uh, promoting energy efficiency and making it happen, uh, not just in, in, in Seattle, but throughout the region. Um, I was also heartened to see this morning uh, when we uh, asked how many folks uh, were new to uh, Seattle City Lights uh, programs or first time Trade Ally event. And, uh, and I'm even more heartened to see, see all of you or so many of you stay here throughout uh, the entire uh, program. Uh, so I'm hopeful that you um, have, have all, um, this has been a beneficial um, um, activity for you to attend. Um, we're certainly um, relying on you to, to work with us going forward to help us meet our goals. Uh, I want to take a step back here and uh, refresh um, on a couple of slides that were presented uh, to you earlier today um, just to reinforce the, the importance of our energy efficiency efforts and, and just how important you are to uh, city's light success in terms of uh, helping us uh, meet our energy demands in the future. Uh, Lori mentioned through our integrated resource plan that uh, energy efficiency is indeed City Light's uh, priority resource uh, for meeting our energy needs in the future, uh, both now and in the future, in terms of how we address load growth. Uh, and I want to return us back to looking at where we are today and, and really where we are, where we uh, uh, plan to be between now and 2020, where energy efficiency um, is, uh, is really the key to meeting all of our load growth until um, the year 2020. So no additional resources will need to be added um, because of um, our energy e efficiency successes that we've achieved with your, with your help and your championing up to this point. And through our continued successful efforts, um, we, uh, we, we, we get carried into at least the year 2020 without having to add additional resources. And then you look beyond um, the year 2020 and energy efficiency, um, even in the out years, um, in, the, in the last of the out years, we're meeting at least 50% of, of, our, um, of our load growth. So um, as much as we talk about and our emphasis is on um, the projects that we bring through the system today and the work that we do um, to help customers save money and, to, and, uh, and the work that you, do all, you all do to, to grow and make your businesses thrive. Um, there's a much greater purpose here, um, a much greater benefit um, to our city, to our community, and to our region. And you all um, are, are, uh, are, are critical to that success. Um, if we, we'll, I want to go to another slide here, our second slide um, that Lori covered with you all which speaks to where do we where we stand so far in the year 2014 and a big part of uh, why we're here today and then in addition to the thanks that I'm going to give you I'm going to make an appeal uh, to you um, and that is um, as we are um, looking at where we stand towards our goal toward the end of the year which is 14 average megawatts saved um, we are about 50% um, of where we should be at this time of the year on the curve. Um, so we're going to be working um, hard and, um, and our staff who've uh, had the, the uh, um, I'll, I'll say pleasure of having me as a director for the last two months have heard me talk a lot about the importance of us reaching our, our goals and focusing on our commitments not just because we like to be uh, to say that we're the best but also because the community is relying on us uh, to, to meet those energy savings goals. Um, we're going to be paying a lot of attention to driving more quality projects uh, and building that pipeline. And you are our most uh, critical and important uh, set of partners in moving the needle and ensuring that we uh, move from 50% of where we should be uh, to 100% uh, or more um, at the end of the year. And as I've looked back at what our historical accomplishments have been um, with, uh, with you as our partners, um, I'm, uh, I'm encouraged uh, because we've done it, we've done it before. 
Uh, we've done it every year, and in a couple of years, we've exceeded our goals. Um, and uh, we plan this year, with your help and, uh, and your support, um, to uh, meet or exceed those goals again, once again this year. Um, I also know that this is not a one-way street. Um, I can appeal uh, to you. Um, our, our staff can work with you and, and, uh, and ask you for your feedback and input. Um, but we know that um, in order to, to really move things down the, uh, move the ball down the field, um, that, I, that Craig Smith and uh, Seattle City Light CRD folks can't just call all the shots. Uh, we need your best ideas. Uh, we need to hear from you on areas where we can improve, um, uh, improve things for you, areas where we can improve the customer experience and, and ways in which we can drive more and better energy efficiency projects uh, through our process. So I want to thank you for all of the feedback and the input that you provided us today and want to assure you that not only will we be listening to and seeking out your feedback during gatherings like these, uh, but we will uh, be checking in with you throughout the year. Um, some of you will probably see and get to know me more personally um, because we, uh, we, 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 value your, we value the partnership and the collaboration with you, and we know that you are essential to our success going forward. Um, and then we've got a number of, uh, we have a number of ideas that were shared with us today. Um, we're going to um, acknowledge some of those through our power play recognition. And uh, Margot has shared with me a bunch of cards with ideas on them. They were drawn here. Uh, and I'm going to go through these until we run across somebody who's still here. And I'm betting a lot of people are still here because this room still looks pretty full. OK. Uh, let's see. I, the only problem is I cannot read your writing. <laughs> Dave Debrun. Dave Mariners tickets Whoa. and a game for you and I to negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be on field and recognized for being the energy efficiency superstar that you are. Thank you for playing. Now I was supposed to do that at the end, but I've got 12 cards here. I don't have 12 awards to give, but um, there are a ton of conservation superstars in this building. I consider all of you to be among them. And I'm looking here at some great ideas for projects, and this is exactly the kind of, of, of collaboration and innovation that we're looking for and that we're going to need to drive us forward. Uh, some of us will get to go to Mariners games, um, but I guarantee you all that um, uh, when we hit this goal, um, that we're going to come back here at, at the end of the year or early next year to celebrate uh, the success that we've achieved together. Uh, so. Uh, Let's, let's plan on a year-end celebration where we can recognize um, our collective success and, um, and, and everyone's contributions. Okay, so with that, I am going to uh, be quiet. I, we promised to get you all out of here at the end of the year. I'm going to, I'm going to, I actually, I, I, do, I did intend to ask one other thing. Uh, how many of you all here work uh, with other utility programs here in the Puget Sound? Okay. I'm going to ask you a question, and I, and, and I want you to give me an honest answer. Okay, so for how many of you um, is City Light number one? Okay. <laughs> We're going to change that. Um, our team, I want all our team to stand up. We think of ourselves as number one. And, we're gonna, and we want to earn uh, from you um, number one status in your eyes. And we're committed to do that. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for your, for your participation and feedback. Continue to work with us to reach these numbers. And we're going to continue to work together early, often, never re retroactive, always proactive. 
Thank you for coming.